you do when you are stuck and need guidance and advice? We all face personal challenges and often wish to get good advice on pressing issues from reliable and trustworthy sources. It would be fantastic if we could find solutions to our problems or receive grace, guidance and support when we need it most. The approach discussed in this video is different from the traditional planning and action mindset. In conventional approach, you set a goal and work towards achieving it, which is good. But what do you do when you are stuck and need guidance and advice? What do you do when you need clarification on a fuzzy situation that doesn't have a black and white answer? Who guides you when the answers don't come naturally and the problem stares you in the face? How do you uncover what is preventing you from moving forward or seeing possible solutions? How can you shift your perspective to see or look at the situation in a new light? How can you calm your mind to access your intuition or get clarity when confused and overwhelmed? This video focuses on sharing techniques to answer all these questions. A one-line answer to all the questions mentioned earlier is that you need to learn how to connect with your source to receive the guidance and grace you need. You don't have to seek guidance from anyone or anything external. The good news is that grace and guidance are available to all if we pay enough attention to our hidden resources. The advice and wisdom you need already resides within you. You need to know how to tap into the depth of silence and connect with your inner source. But you must understand how to access this inner intelligence. It's vital to regularly align with the source rather than treating it as a one-time event. Consistent practice is necessary to achieve alignment. The source can be defined in any way you prefer, whether called divine force, universal power, God, or just source. You must agree that some superior force exists above and beyond us. Hopefully, you are enjoying this video and if you are, I invite you to like it and subscribe. Leave a comment and share it with your friends. They will thank you. So, how do you stay connected with the source? Here are some guidelines. Remove clutter. You need to create a receptive mental state to receive guidance from the universal power source. Just like a woman needs a fertile womb to conceive, your mind needs a clear space to receive guidance. If your mind is cluttered with distractions, you won't be able to hear or see the guidance coming your way. Therefore, it is important to clear your mind of distractions and create a receptive space. One effective way to do this is by spending time alone with yourself each day. This may involve disconnecting from social interactions with family and friends and taking a break from technology such as emails, television, cell phones, texting and news. Take some time to be in silence. I don't know if you are like some of my friends who don't believe in meditation, but if you can't meditate, spending some time in silence is beneficial. It is a powerful way to connect with your inner self and listen to your inner voice. It's like entering your emptiness and opening up your inner listening. Just as you put away things after a busy day, your mind also needs time to process information. One of the best productivity tips I have heard is to do nothing for some time every day. This Portuguese saying inspires me further how good it is to do nothing all day and to rest afterwards. At least once a day, I try to do nothing and it's surprisingly productive since i started following this it has changed my perspective on productivity doing nothing can be very refreshing and rejuvenating 
fertilize your mind apart from clearing your mind you also need nutrients for your soil or mind to absorb or receive guidance that may come at odd hours and unexpected times nutrients for the body include food water air and exercise which is not the topic of this discussions nutrients for the mind include knowledge and inspiration i hope this video serves as a source of new knowledge or inspiration for you to make our minds more receptive to new ideas and answers we must make our mental soil more fertile there are several ways to do this you can study something or someone in depth read a book worth your time and take notes to stimulate your imagination alternatively you can follow an author and examine their work the primary purpose is to fertilize your mind with valuable information if you have the budget try attending a music concert watching a play or an excellent movie to get inspired if you are into fashion visit a fashion show the important thing is to choose an activity worth examining and going deep into which can stimulate your imagination and feed your mind with valuable information this will help you grow new ideas or receive guidance turn ordinary activities into sacred activities at least once a week engage in an activity that you consider holy or sacred remember it's not the activity that makes it sacred it is your intention towards it it could be something as simple as walking in nature or something more elaborate like visiting a church or temple alternatively you could help your kids with their assignments or assist a fellow student in preparing for an upcoming exam approach these activities with a sense of sacredness and give them your full attention you could also meditate visit a spiritual leader or watch an inspiring youtube video if you prefer reading a sacred text or a beautiful poem that works too i love rumi the key is to engage with something that you consider sacred or divine experience it the way you want it you may argue that you don't have time for all these activities but i won't let you off the hook it is essential to separate yourself from your daily routine and connect with the sacred even if it's just for a short period transform your routine activities into sacred ones by using your imagination imagine entering a temple as you enter your office home office or gym or engage in everyday activities like dinner showering or making coffee take a moment to pause and realign your energy and intentions as if you are entering a sacred place this will help bring a sense of sacredness to your everyday life if you have prepared your body and mind with the suggested techniques you are now ready to receive guidance from the universe here is the last step i heard or read in one of deepak chopra's books ask for the answer from the universe deepak chopra suggests that you can manifest answers to your questions by asking the universe type a question into the cosmic search engine using your thoughts and you will draw towards the answers the cosmic search engine will ping all the websites to find an answer for you send well drafted question to the universe source or god and then let it go empty your mind to receive the answers you have already prepared yourself to receive the answer by doing the activity that i previously mentioned you never know in which form the answer will come to you but it will arrive whenever and however it comes you will also realize that the universal power source always communicates with you and answers your questions you only need to pay attention and learn how to receive the answers during my meditation i keep a pen and paper nearby to record my answers after the meditation you can begin by asking the universe questions like what is grace how can i receive guidance from you what is the thought if you prefer to be more practical with your questions you could ask questions like what is essential for me to do right now 
what is necessary for me to say what is vital for me to see what am i not seeing where should my attention be what is important for me to share how do i solve the problem what resources or help are available to me that i may not have considered what small steps can i take right now to progress towards a solution notice how the answers will come to you in your thoughts conversations and chance encounters with others at times i may spend several months working on a question for instance i seek guidance on the type of manifestation course i should create and share it with my audience i receive answers through hunches intuitions intimations urges and ideas i'm constantly asking follow up questions to receive further guidance the answers you may seek may come to you in a variety of ways you could stumble upon a book or have conversations with fascinating people which lead you to word your answer the law of synchronicity will help you find your answer though explaining how this is happening may be difficult you may also receive answers from unexpected sources such as a message in a youtube video a podcast an article or even during an unplanned visit to a friend's house sometimes a simple question from a child can hold the answer you seek the answer you give the child may also be the answer you need to hear for yourself as you persist with faith and confidence the answer will come to you as a feeling a hunch or a tendency in a certain direction it will come to you clearly as an inner silent awareness the answer always comes provided you trust the working of your deeper mind remember always that what you are seeking is seeking you so ideas worth remembering guidance and wisdom are available within through connecting with our inner intelligence it is important to clear your mind of distractions to receive intuitive guidance nourish your mind regularly with knowledge inspiration and sacred activities ask questions of your inner wisdom higher power during meditation and be open to answers bring a sense of sacredness to daily activities can make you more receptive to guidance meditation solitude and nourishment can help you attune yourself to inner guidance spiritual practices can help you access your inner resources and receive advice when needed sharing this video with others can be the most profitable thing you can do by doing so you can help others and align yourself with the law of life that states you get by giving in return you may expect prosperity and be rewarded secretly with a larger life so don't hesitate to subscribe like and share this video with your friends and spread the message thanks for your help and see you next time bye for now